Good morning, folks. Today we say goodbye to that northern filament as the solar tornadoes head for the far side, but there is plenty to see behind them. Heading to spaceweathernews.com, let's check in on the last 24 hours of our star where a gorgeous but benign surge of plasma near center disk was the only Earth-facing feature of note at all. The entire event took only about three hours. On the south, our primary feature is still the filament running through the sunspots, but there is also a filament growing over the limb behind it. Let's switch from 193 angstroms to a combo of 304 and 211. Look at the limb back there to see the next filament coming in. The lone CME noticeable on coronagraph images is not Earth-directed. It actually came off the far side of the sun, as seen here on Stereo A, which looks from the other side of our star. The only lithospheric news to discuss today is a volcano eruption in Kamchatka. Ash cloud raised 8 kilometers above the surface. We'll expect more disruptions, probably earthquakes, as the weekend rolls around and the earthquake watch index slowly begins to climb now, from low to moderate to just moderate, but expect a further rise as a much larger and more powerful coronal hole than that southern opening is turning over the top left right now. This may be enhanced by heliospheric longitudinal coupling as the solar uptick should be on our doorstep with Mercury coming in to conjoin Jupiter from the Sun's point of view. As is, we are already seeing an uptick in flaring four days prior to primary alignment, new spots growing on the departing limb, but also on the incoming. It will only be noticeable at the end of the sequence, but a flurry of small umbral development is taking place. We're going to need to be eyes open over the coming days to monitor for flaring. Looking at the solar wind, we see evidence that perhaps the coronal hole stream set in just after the CME impact, but the speed indicates that both are very weak, and as the BZ tips south in red up top, we are starting to see geomagnetic instability return. Low-level storm conditions are possible today, but right now the KP stands at 4. Top link today is to a Van Allen Belt article by NASA. Turns out that the homogeneity we like to place upon them is unfounded across different energy levels and near space conditions as modulated by the sun. Our top weather story is all about the United States, and while the primary concerns today are at the west coast, over the coming days a tremendous low will spawn from that Texas Earth spot as it enters the northeast, and folks, more than a hundred million people are expected to see blizzard conditions in the megalopolis over the weekend. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org. We had a new Deeper Look episode posted yesterday about some UV forcing on the stratosphere affecting surface weather and long-term climate. To become a member, head over to suspiciousobservers.org and click Become a Member on the menu. We're going to hit Europe, swing down under, peek in on the global conditions with shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Oh, <laughs>